Hey guys, it's Ryan from 105mm Studios and today I'm going to show you how you can utilise multi-output routing in Fairview to process your tracks in Logic. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we've selected the correct version of Contact. So in Logic, if you click on Contact, you'll have this drop-down menu. I personally recommend either 16 stair output or 25 stair output. I'm personally using 25 because I like to have lots of inputs just in case I like to add any samples or use different libraries and have plenty of outputs. Next, pull Fairview into contact and as we can see, it's there. If we hit play, we are getting audio out of it. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to set contact up to have multi-output. Uh, the way that we do this if you can't see the output section, is go on this drop down and hit outputs. As you can see, we have one stereo output and a bunch of auxes. Hit this plus. Now, because I use the 25 channel version of contact, I'm gonna put that up to 25. Number of channels is two, so that's left and right for each output. Next, we have to hit one on sound card host output. And make sure a setting output assignment is selected. Make sure delete existing channels before creating new ones is selected so there's no duplicate channels. And for me personally, I like to make this configuration default. Anytime you load up contact, it will automatically have everything set up for you. So you don't need to do this every single time. Hit OK. This pop-up will pop up, telling you that the output configuration was saved as default. Hit OK. And as you can see, all of our channels have been created down here. Next, in Fairview, if we hit main mixer uh, and then looked down, we can see all of our outputs for each channel strip. Uh, luckily, they made a multi-out option which assigns one to 14 automatically for you. However, if you don't like to root that way, me personally, I would like to have my hi-hats and spot mics for my cymbals after my overheads. Uh, you can select which output you want from the drop down. So I like to have hi hats and then ride and then cymbals uh, after that. And then I like to have my close rooms and then my far rooms after that. So when I play audio again, we should start seeing these uh, channels line up, uh, light up here. Awesome. Next, what we have to do is then set up Logic to start receiving these outputs from contact. This is really easy. Just hit this plus a bunch of times and that will create all of the auxes out of contact. Now, we can label them now. So if I start soloing different channels, we just start hearing the corresponding channels out of contact. Awesome, and room close. What this enables you to do is you can now process individual mic channels within Logic. You can send them to auxes for parallel compression, and you can basically process this as you normally would any other drum kit. So I hope you found this tutorial useful, and I hope you enjoy using Fairview as much as I have been, and I will see you later.